Here's to you. All right, real quick, uh, if you didn't, uh, if you missed it, uh, Pat McAfee apologized for what Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers said about Jimmy Kimmel on his show. McAfee added, "Quote: Hopefully, those two will just be able to settle this. So, hopefully, that's going to put that to bed." After uh, Rodgers suggested that Kimmel had uh, th- uh, uh, visited perhaps the island owned by Jeffrey Epstein. So, right, right. Uh, insane story. I'm glad that I could just. Say it. Get it done. Let's move on. Yeah, well, don't that, even want to talk about it. The list of celebrities <laughs> came out late last, late yesterday. I don't want to talk so about I'm it. I'm wondering if uh, he don't can prove whether he's on it or not. Don't want to talk about it is the key. Don't want to talk about it. Let's start with the Pro Bowl now. Uh, Dexter Lawrence will be the only giant who made it to the Pro Bowl. Uh, that sucks, but uh, um, no surprise. very good this year. Yeah, I thought Saquon Barkley would make it because he did kind of try to carry the team, but let's be honest, they're 5-11 and 11 or 5-12, and 12, whatever that it is. The Jets, Sauce Gardner, uh, cornerback, and Quinn and Williams, uh, defensive end, uh, they received the honor for the Jets, so two defensive players for the Jets. No I mean, listen, offensive players for the Giants and Jets make the Pro Bowl this no year. No surprise there, but I'm also... Yeah. I'm not surprised a couple of Jets defensive players made it. Bask, uh, yeah, absolutely. And by the way, six Eagles did, in fact, make the Pro Bowl. Basketball, the Knicks beat the Bulls last night, 116-100. to uh, Knicks looking good, actually, with this uh, trade for OG. Uh, the Knicks' Julius Randle had 35 points. Jalen Brunson had 31 points. And the Knicks' defense is looking much better. They improved to 19-15, and 15, have won a couple in a row. The Nets lost to the Rockets, 112-101, to 101, and they are struggling. In fact, they dropped to five games under 500. Nets are 15-20. and 20. 76ers were off the next play on Friday. Hockey, the Devils took down the Capitals last night. 6-3. to three. Devils' Nico Hashir, two goals and an assist. Six goals, I like that. And the Devils' Dawson Mercer added two goals of his own in the win. Devils improved to 2014-2. Rangers and Flyers were inactive tonight. The Rangers face the Blackhawks in Madison Square Garden. And the Flyers take on the Blue Jackets in Philly. And finally, baseball. Former Yankee great Bernie Williams will make his New York Philharmonic debut. On April 24th at Lincoln Center's David Geffen Hall, Bernie not only is a five-time All-Star for the Yankees, but is an extremely well-respected, classically trained guitarist who began playing at age seven and, in fact, has released two recordings, one of which was produced by Paul McCartney. There you go. So Bernie's big time, not just a great center fielder, but uh, Lincoln he's a Center a great musician. And what, what an honor to be playing Link- Lincoln Center's David Geffen Hall. You gotta wear a tux for that, man. You gotta dress up. Does he have? Can he wear his Yankee uniform? No, Wouldn't you can't that- wear a Yankee uniform <laughs> at Avery Fisher Hall, man. Come on, there's no. It's like a baseball hat rule. <laughs> I want Bernie to go up there wearing the pinstripes, no, number no, fifty-one. No, no, he's no, iconic. No, can't do he it. got retired. No. Bernie baseball, they burn, baby, That's, burn. If he's not wearing a tuxedo, I'll be shocked. Follow the great moments, Bernie. I, if, if Bernie. I suggest you wear your baseball uniform. <laughs> Carl says tuxedo. That is your quick look at sports. Uh oh, rage against the machine. Looks like they're done again. Details in the Rat Rock News. Right now, Aerosmith on the Rat. 